Okay. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. Very lovely to see you. <laughs> Hi, lovely to see you. Yeah. So, Joe, who have you got tonight for us? <gasps> I've got my Ben. 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 Um, he uh, is a whippet, and he passed away at nearly fourteen. Um. Oh. Yeah. And and how long ago was that? Um. That was um. Three years ago. Right, okay. And um, did you have him from a pup or was he rescue? He was rescue. He right, came okay. to... Yeah. He's already talking to me, so I'm going to go with this, okay? So you really? were with him for... Sorry, I've, I, I, I'm, as I'm tuning in, I'm forgetting what you're saying. So how long were you together? Right, uh, we were together 10 years. Um, he passed away four years ago, actually, um, March 2016, um, and we got him when he was uh, nearly four. Right, okay. So he told me that uh, he was hungry. He'd had an experience of being hungry. Uh, so that's why I was guessing that he was a rescue before, because I thought, I'm sure, Joe, you know. So, yeah. uh, so he was show me that he had an experience of extreme hunger at one oh. point and um and that he he's going on about his teeth yeah uh, uh, and i don't know whether he even got hit or kicked in his face mm. by somebody or something but he's going on about teeth or whether because he was hungry or he didn't you know that his teeth didn't established themselves properly or they were soft or something but he's going on about that and he said also he had a lot of worms at some point mm. I don't know if he had those when you got him but I feel like I I had to it was horrible actually and uh, he said it the feeling is the feeling he's giving me is like when we've got acid indigestion it's mm. like an acid feeling I don't know what the wor what it's you know the worms do or whatever but the sensation is that it feels like an acid feeling. Mm. And um, so, and he's also shown me him being hauled out of a ditch. Like somebody's grabbing his um, withers, <laughs> the skin on his withers and on his bum, and somehow pulling him out of a ditch. Oh. Uh, like quite a deep thing that's, or a stream or something, you know, that's, but it's got mud on it. And um, I don't know whether you know what his life was like, but again, I'm getting this feeling of ticks as well. Like I've got little scars. Has he got little scars where ticks have been? Um, no, he, he didn't really. He was it was pretty? Um, it was you know it was, it was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful boy when we got oh. him. Um, but I know that um, it, the when he was a puppy and where he grew up. He was. He did have a really hard, tough life in a, a scrapyard, and he was outdoors. And you right. know, I don't care for him very well. And the RSPCA came, and um, he was put in foster care. And then we, but then we took him on. Right. He was it a So he, the fact yeah. that the RSPCA, he has to be pretty bad, doesn't it, for the RSPCA? Yeah. So, um, that was his experience. That he yes. felt he got parasites on him. Uh, yes. And I'm, I'm presuming they're ticks because they're stuck on me. And um, and okay, so that makes sense. Okay. And uh, he's telling me he couldn't run around quite as much as he should have been able to in a circle somehow because I, I'm getting something with my hip. Yeah, you see. Still... My hip going on. I'm pointing to my left hip, but I did have an injury on my. I've had an injury on my left hip. But um, uh, my hand's going down to my left hip. Yeah, he, um, he used to love running around in circles and getting all the dogs to chase him. That was his thing on the field. Um, but then he, as he grew older and more infirm, he couldn't, he couldn't do that as much. And um, yeah, he would run around and round and round and get the dogs to chase him. Um, but, he, you know, latterly when he was, you know, because he passed away when he was nearly 14, um, you know, couldn't do that as much, so that does make sense. And 
feel like you gave him those, are they dentist sticks or something? You yeah. know, things that are soft, but you chew on. And he said, they actually, I feel like he was getting acid. He's talking about having had this worm, mm. I don't think he got worm damage, but, um, but he's talking about calm some acid down. He had like an acid feeling. Uh, yeah. I think it was when he had got the worms, but now that he's told me that you gave him dentist sticks and it actually helped, it was, it's almost like having, well, I don't know, like if you're a human and you're having peppermint tea or something, it was mm. like, it's got that feeling about it where it actually calmed down. It did the, it, it helped with the acid he was saying. He's talking about. Oh. Talking about weeing now. And I don't know if this is when you first had him, he couldn't hold himself in or whether this was uh, as when he was an elderly man or, or an older, you know, before he passed. But I feel like there's something about, knowing that I'm not supposed to wee in a particular place, but not being able to help myself. Yeah, that might have been when he passed. That might right. have, yeah, yeah, that, that might have been when he passed. Right. Okay. Yeah, and, um, and he's also shown me some foam that got wet, something with foam in it that got wet. Mm. Would that be a or might have been a bed yeah could have been a bed yeah well, he's just aware he's you know because he's feeling a bit bad about it well he's obviously not feeling bad about it near but at the time um oh, he's such a gorgeous boy he's saying you would have given him a whole funeral if you could have done if you could have put him in a box and carried him like um yeah. on a funeral procession you would have done it's like that he was saying you know um, it was, it was so he just oh i'm seeing i mm, i suppose he i don't know how big he is i've been making i'm making him bigger than he is but i just saw him just doing like a little licks i thought it was him but then i thought oh god it's very small you don't have another dog in spirit that was very small who might lick a smaller dog than a whippet but i suppose whippets are quite small aren't they um yeah i mean we've, we've just had um a um, King Charles in the family pass. Oh. Um, he was very licky. With, oh, with right. Little, he looked so small, I thought yeah. he couldn't um, be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he's coming. That in. was about three, four, four weeks ago. Oh. From the family. Okay. Yeah, so it could it's be. very it, tentative. Like, I'm being very careful and I don't want to disturb you, but I'm just going to have to lick your face. Yeah. It's got that quality about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could, it could be referring to um, my dad's dog. Yeah. Um, but Ben was very gentle. It's going on about a cat as well. Um, yeah. Again, he's shown me this gentleness, which is lovely. You know, which is which I get a lot actually with my clients. I've, you know, I've had it with rabbit people and like how gentle people are with their animals. And of course, the people that come to me for animal communication are usually totally devoted to their animals. So, uh, but he's just showing me somehow you picking him up or doing something at the back end. I'm sure there's something going on at the front, but you, someone's lifting him with their hands at the back. And I just feel a bit like I'm a bit bent. Uh, there's something a bit bent at the back or something a bit, you know not quite right and it's but it's very gentle and he was aware so much of the gentleness of the hands yeah that that absolutely makes sense because um t towards when um when he when he was passing um the last few hours well last day or so um his back end when and we had to take him in the garden we had to hold him at the back right. for we and to walk to walk you know try and walk him around the garden and just be really gentle with him and that that was just literally towards the end All right. he said his chest was quite bad as well and he had his head down a bit um like normally i would have my head well i don't know because i'm a human but i can feel that my head would normally be up there but i was more like that and he said there's something not okay with his chest that's that's right. Yeah, he'd have um, some fits, and and he was um, sort of, you know, maybe maybe fits like a stroke type thing. He couldn't walk, and he couldn't really breathe. Um, okay, because that's what he was most aware of. 
up and he put his head down and oh bless him oh no yeah no, adorable that's all right for you joe thank you oh, so much yeah it's a, it's a lovely to hear from him i just oh, yeah. I, I, you know i adored him i still do i talk to him every single day and you know and i look at his picture and you know he'll always be with me and you know he's, he was an amazing amazing boy for 10 years <laughs> yeah yeah he, yeah he's a lovely uncomplicated yeah uncomplicated person but i'm definitely getting this little one in as well oh, i wonder whether that's a little dog i can't see it i can't i'm not seeing it like a video or anything but i can i'm really aware that there's a little one there too yeah it, it might be um barney who passed um about four weeks ago oh. um, which was my dad's dog and ben um, and I'm just thinking about stomach going on, something to do with my stomach. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Any sense? Yeah, for, for the little dog, for Barney. Well, excuse me, it might be. Does that make any sense? The, the stomach issue, um, yeah. I'm actually pointing from down there, so I'm not really my actual, I'm, I'm pointing to my intestines, I think, or something. What was that? Um yeah i mean for, for barney he had lots of lots of issues he was an old he was um 13 and he was king charles spaniel he'd done really well for a small dog and yeah. um, he had all sorts of he had heart problems right and um, yeah stomach teeth oh right he was, he was so he could be coming through and yeah it'd be lovely if ben was with with barney yeah you yeah, know they're definitely i've definitely got these two together yeah oh. <laughs> well they're coming in together you know yeah yeah, yeah. that is so yeah. wonderful oh and again i'm getting this message he wants you to shut the curtains at night you know as soon as it's dark shut the curtains don't know uh, i know that was for that wasn't came through for somebody else but uh definitely not liking it if the curtains aren't shut in a timely fashion yeah yeah i know is it wanting for you to look after yourself or just you know or whatever i don't know yeah yeah, that does make sense for the, the house we were in when we when we had Ben, because um, we had massive windows and we always used to have the curtains wide open. Um, um, so it was probably that darkness again that you talked about earlier. Um, yeah, uh, he, he maybe didn't like that. <laughs> I don't think they like looking into the blackness, no. No, right, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank oh. you. Oh, yeah, you've been a great sport and the wonderful. Yeah, that was absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Right. Thank you. I shall um I shall change you over. Okay. Yeah. Bye, Joe. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much, Susie. <laughs>